Hi, this is Amar again from sslcrust.com Australia and in this video I am about to show you how to install an SSL certificate on Node.js. So let's get started. We have a test folder and let's open your preferred ID such as VS Code. So we just have some boilerplate HTML code or you might be having your website right here on a Linux or Windows machine. So we're going to open the terminal real quick. So the first thing we're going to do is npm install express just complete a few prerequisites for this video. And we're going to install body parser. So once you do that, we can now start with step one which is generating a csr and a private key so what we're going to do is head over to google and type ssl trust csr generator and open the first link that you find and now we're going to input a few details right here to generate our certificate sign request or the csr so basically a CSR or a certificate sign request is nothing but a request initiated by you, the client, to the certificate authority, which contains all the necessary information, such as domain name and any business details, which are stored in a hashed form. On the technical side, it also contains the public key, which will be signed by the certificate authority and returned to you in the issued certificate. I am going to type in the, my domain name here, the name of your organization as trust the organizational unit IT and your city or town where you reside and your state or province the country code Australia and type in your email address right here rootlet we're going to be using 2048 bit and click on generate CSR. So you can see your private key and your CSR or your certificate sign request right here. What we could do is head over to VS Code. And as you can see, a package log JSON and a package.json file are created when we do npm install express and body parser. So what we can do is create a new folder called SSL. And then Copy this private key from the very start to the very end, including all the dashes. Go to SSL and create a new file. Let's call it server.key and paste the details right here. Control S, do the same for the CSR, or you can save the CSR in a notepad file, but I'm just gonna save it real quick, server.csr from the very start to the very end, copy with all the dashes and paste it right here. We have our CSR and private key now. We have successfully generated both of them. And the next step in this process is to order and configure our SSL certificate. So I'm here on the SSL Trust homepage and now is the time to order a certificate. So basically, if you're a small business or have a single domain name and you want to secure one single domain name, you can choose from various certificates that we have and whether you're a business and you want premium security and you can choose the business validation certificate. Or if you have multiple domain names and you want to secure them under one certificate, you can go for the multi-domain SSL. And same goes for the wildcard SSL certificate which secures unlimited subdomains. So basically if you need help in choosing an SSL certificate you can always reach out to our sales and support team and they'll be happy to assist you. So for this video we're gonna go with the Commodore Positive SSL. You can choose that as a low-cost alternative for a single domain name. This is the pricing. We're gonna take it for one year. Click on buy SSL and then click on checkout. Fill in your details, choose your preferred method of payment, and then click on complete order. Once you're done with that, you can head over to the SSL Trust dashboard, and then 
choose your active product or service that you've purchased. Now, we're going to click on the Start Certificate Configuration button to do the configuration ourselves. But in case you're using an installation service or have someone doing it for you, you can provide the following URL to that person. So let's start the certificate configuration. And now we're going to paste in our certificate sign request or the CSR that we've copied, including all the dashes in the begin and end certificate request to make sure not to break the chain in which the certificate was generated. Now we're going to click on verify CSR. And as you can see, these details look just good, exactly like we inputted. And server type, let's go with other since there is no mention of Node.js. Click on next step and fill in your details right here. And your email address. Now, if you're the admin and you're purchasing the certificate and you have a technical contact doing the installation for you, please mention his, his or her details here and they will also have permission to manage the certificate. Otherwise, we're going to go with use admin contact for now and click on next step. So now comes an important part in this step, which is domain control validation. So basically, you need to prove to the certificate authority, which in this case is SecDigo, that you own your domain name and have complete access to it, that you are the owner. So there are three methods of validation. The first being the email method. So you should have an email admin at the rate yourdomainname.com and you'll be sent an email with a, a link upon which when you click on should validate your domain name. The second method is the HTTP file or the HTTPS file method. So basically, what you need to do is create a text file with this exact name in this very directory. You need to create new directories in your server management system. And then you need to paste in these contents into that file and save it and click on Submit Configuration. You can check the file right here if that is being served by the server. The third and the method that we're going to use is the CNAME record validation method. So basically what you have to do is head over to your DNS settings with whatever either the domain name provider or the hosting provider depends on where we have chosen. So let me log in real quick. Let's go to CNAME, click on add new record and copy this, the CNAME record and paste it right here. Do the same for the CNAME value, copy and paste it right here. Click on save and that should be it. Now we're going to click on the check DNS button, uh, record button there and let's close this up. Click on search. Now as you can see the DNS record has not been resolved yet and it should take a few minutes up to an hour depending on your DNS server's propagation speed. So for now, we are going to click on search again. And as you can see, it has not yet propagated anywhere. So for now, let's submit our configuration and we'll wait for our DNS records to propagate and be validated by SecDigo. As you can see, our configuration was a success. This is our order number and our status is that we are awaiting validation. So click here to access the validation manager. As you can see, our domain control validation is complete. Our record has propagated in quite a few quite few enough places so let's close this up let's close this up too and now we can head over and collect or download our certificate now in case you this your domain has not been validated yet you can come back here under dashboard click on domain control validation so i'll head back to the dashboard just to show that to you and then you can click on the certificate and there will be a button here before the certificate has been issued called Access Validation Manager by which you can come back here and click on this and it will be it would open a drop down menu upon which you can uh, refresh or resubmit uh, the method that you chose for domain control validation to freshen up things on SecDigo's end. 
So for now, let's close this up. And now we can click on the collect or download certificate button. Okay, so now it is time to collect and download our certificate. Click on the button right there. And now what we're going to do is select the format as separate, separate primary and intermediate .cit files and click on download certificate. Okay, so we can extract the files to our, let's head over to test and then SSL, extract them to the SSL folder, click on extract. Now what we're gonna do is change the name of the certificate for our convenience. Let's call it certificate, just certificate, and the intermediate certificate as intermediate. So we have downloaded and uploaded our SSL certificate files to our website files where we'll be using the node web server. And let's close this up for now. Head over to VS Code. Okay, so now once we've uploaded our certificate files and the private key, we can now create a new file called server.js. And you can place it in some boilerplate code that you can find in the very description of this video. Just test server. So control S. And what we're going to do now is open the terminal. And we're going to type in node server.js. And as you can see, the server is up and running on port 3000. So now we need to create another file. Let's call it, this is the HTTP version, the server. And the next file is going to be HTTPS underscore server.js. Press enter to create the server file. We can now initialize our project by running the command npm init. Just keep pressing enter. If you're not doing this for production, of course, production environment, and you may follow your own company policy to do so for the package.json file. Yes, enter, and this is good to go. We have initialized, initialized this file. So now what we're gonna do is paste in some, let me close this up, pasting some boilerplate code which you can find in the description of this video. And the changes to be made are commented, so you can navigate your way around that real quick. So let's call this changes to our domain name. And scroll down and add the certificate parts here. Let me just change this real quick. So this is the change of port number if you're using specific port numbers. Otherwise, this certificate names and everything looks good. So what we're gonna do now is control S, open the terminal again, and we're gonna type in node HTTPS underscore server.js, press enter. The server started at the port, so we open the browser and type in H T T P S colon double slash or domain name dot com with the port three thousand. And as you can see, we can see the default index.html page and our connection to the site is completely secure. We have installed our SSL certificate. This is how easy it was to install an SSL certificate on Node.js. So I hope that you were easily able to install this by following this video and the guide in the description. If you've got any questions, please put them in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a like. Thanks for watching.